Do you like Disney things and Disney villains and makeup and collectibles? I'm going to show you something right up your alley. Come with me. Hey guys, it's Kara from Wonderbolt, where we unlock the geek universe and share our insider tips, reviews, and collectibles. Today, we're going to be talking about collectibles, but with a sort of different twist. Now, I know I haven't done an unboxing or a loot crate or anything for a couple of weeks, and I'm really sorry, but the reason is our loot crates haven't arrived. It's really annoying. We have, I think, three, maybe even four that are delayed. So I haven't had anything to show you, so I'm sorry about that. So out of the goodness of my heart, I went and ordered some things, and we're gonna unbox those things. So let's get started. So, here's the box, and we're gonna open it. Now, I may have mentioned, I like Disney things, and I may have mentioned that like Disney villains. So when I saw this safety first, I had to have it. <laughs> okay, what's in the box? Paper. Mm. Bubble wrap. So what we're looking at today is Disney villain makeup. I know, so amazing. <laughs> Not your everyday collectible, but I'm sure it still fits. So let's have a look at what I ordered. So one of my favorite YouTubers is called Tiff Mink. I will link to her down below. And she does these really cool looks. She's got really purple hair. And she became an ambassador for a makeup company called Colourpop. And I had looked at their products before and been like, oh, that's really cool. But never had that final, yeah, I'm going to do it. And when she became an ambassador, I thought, why not? Let's support her, support me, support you. Everybody gets a win. I get the makeup and we get to unbox it. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. So the first thing in the box is <laughs> Ah, so I did order some villains things, but the first thing I want to show you is this. I ordered a Disney Jasmine collection, which comes with Ah. So we've got a lipstick a lip gloss and an eyeshadow. And the idea behind this Disney, I think it's called the Disney Designer Collection. So if you're a big Disney fan, you would have known that they released some artwork and I'm pretty sure they released dolls called the Disney Designer Collection for the princesses. And what they did was they actually styled the princesses in the era when the movie was released. So as you can see, Jasmine is our 90s princess. So she's got lots of bling, looking gorgeous. And so Colourpop have actually released this Disney princess collection with the artwork of the Disney designer princesses. And they're so cool. And let's be honest, like, it's an eyeshadow with a castle on it. Can, I hope you can see that. And I had to have it. Look, it's my birthday. <laughs> and it actually is. It's my birthday in a few days, so I think I'm allowed. So, let's have a look. So this is A Whole New World, which is very relevant, considering that the new Aladdin just came out. And it looks like a really beautiful purpley shimmery eyeshadow. Now I am not a beauty blogger and have never done one of these makeup things before so I will try and work out how to do swatching and all of that and show you afterwards but first let's just see what's in the box. 
So you had your jasmine eyeshadow. You've got a jasmine lipstick, which actually has all the Disney princess signatures around the outside. And Jasmine's lipstick is oh, a super cool hot pink. I've never worn a hot pink, so we are going to experiment with that. And Jis her um, lip gloss is called Raja, which is like a sparkly pink, which is so cool. This is a super shock shadow, has a castle on it again. And this is called High Ho. So this one was from the Snow White collection. And it's like a super duper, oh, the packaging is just so gorgeous. Even inside the packaging has all these like stars and colors. I love it. So here is High Ho. And it's like a bright, bright white, which is like a pearly kind of white. So the reason I got this is that I find I'm always running out of white. In all my palettes, I use the light color quite a lot for the sort of inside of the eye and the brow, bo brow bone. And it's always the first color to go out of my palette. So that was why I got that one. Oh, the next, I forgot I got this one as well. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. I also ordered the Ariel lipstick. Look at this packaging. So, the ColourPop Luxe lipstick for Ariel in the same sort of gold covering with the signatures on the outside but the aerial color is nude and aerial's look is it's not a very big picture but you can see it's sort of 80s because her movie came out in the 80s Next. it's like Christmas Oh, I also ordered some brushes. Okay, I think we're getting, we're nearly there, right? I can see it peeking out. This is going to be the Maleficent collection. Now, I love Maleficent. I think she's a wonderful villain, but I absolutely love what they did in the Maleficent live action movie. <gasps> oh my goodness. Um, I'll show you this in a minute, but I just wanted to say, the Maleficent live action movie is to me the best live action Disney that they've done. They actually took it, it's like a reverse perspective. You're seeing it from the perspective of Maleficent as a child and as her story unfolds so that by the time you get to that moment that we know where she curses the baby like a crazy woman, you're with her and you're like, yeah, King Stefan totally deserved what he got. He's a jerk you're in the right and it's just such a wonderful movie and gives so many more layers and depth to that character and to me that is how they should be doing these live action movies i i did a review on the aladdin movie which you can watch here's the link um and really enjoyed it i also enjoyed the live action beauty and the beast but did we need those movies i'm not sure they are telling exactly the same story with exactly the same characters, just with sort of live action costumes and they're beautiful to watch, but did we need them? But Maleficent, Maleficent was a brand new story from the total different perspective and I love it. So enough about that. This is the Maleficent collection. So this is her box. All right, are you ready? Here's Maleficent and there's her stuff. So as you can see, we've got the lipstick, the gloss, 
and this is your Super Shock highlighter. So, what kind of lipstick would Maleficent wear? Well, I'm going to tell you. Oh, look at this packaging. So, similar to the Disney Princesses, on the actual lipstick, we've got the villain iconography. There you've got Dr. Facilier, obviously Poor Princess Cruella, Evil Queen. Oh, so cool. So cool. And Maleficent's colour is... How do I open this? Hot pink. Nice. Then we've got the gloss. Just had to get out of the box. Oof. There we go. So the gloss is called My Pet. And it's like a pearly silver kind of colour. Check that out. Oh, sticky. Now, I haven't worn a lot of gloss in my time because they can be really sticky. So, I'm interested to try. Can you see that? Look at that. Oh, that's going to look cool. And I think the idea is this, with these glosses that come in the collection is that you could wear them on their own, but or you could put them over the lip, the lipstick, and give it a different look. So that's going to be cool. And then the Super Shark Highlighter, which let's be honest, I mainly got for the packaging. So you've got the really cool Neon Maleficent. And then you've got, oh, you've got a little mirror. See there, there's you, hello. And then it's meant to be like a pearly, it's called Mistress of All Evil. And it looks kind of peachy in the box, actually. Hmm. It's too light to sort of show you in a swatch, but I'll chuck it on my face later. But yeah, just the packaging, even if it wasn't makeup. How good is this packaging? All right. So that was the Maleficent collection. So there was one more thing that came with Maleficent. So I did have to buy this separately, but I really wanted it, so I got it. And it's called a Jelly Much Shadow, which is in the same packaging. And this is called Spindle. Um, so I just love all the cool names, you know, the, the um, sort of iconography for each character is so cool. If you're interested, obviously I'll put the links down below and, oh, and this one is green inside. That's really cool. But this one, so like the one I showed you before that had the castle, this one says villains and the color. Oh, cool. So this is called a Jelly Much Shadow. So this is like a cream shadow, which is what I said I got the new brush for. Oh, wow. And it's like a pearl. Look at that. It looks really sort of sticky, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I've read fantastic reviews, so we'll see how it goes. Right. This is the Ursula collection. Now, they haven't made a live action Ursula, but I think they should. I read a really great book recently that was, I think it was called Part of Your World, that was not a reverse perspective like Maleficent, but it's like a um, alternate reality type thing. So I think the tagline is what, um, what would happen if Ariel didn't win the day basically um, and so it sort of takes you through the the story of if Ursula won and Ariel had to slink back to Atlantis and 
yeah, really cool story. Definitely check it out. I'll put the Amazon link down below for you. But back to the makeup. So we have Ursula. How cool is that? And then on the back, we've got these sort of waves. Very cool. So again, we're going to have a luxe lipstick, a super shock highlighter, and an ultra glossy lip. So while I'm doing this, let me know in the comments down below who your favorite Disney villain is. I have obviously shared that mine is Maleficent. I don't think you can see it in this shot, but just up here I have this amazing painting, which I'll show you in a little while, of the Disney villains that is from the Disney Fine Art Collection, and I love it. Um, so I actually do really like the villains. Um, why is this so difficult? Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Ursula. There is the Ursula. Oh! Ah! Try again. Right, there is your Ursula collection. So you've got your Lux lipstick, the Super Shock highlighter, which is called Poor Unfortunate Souls, and your Ultra Glossy Lip, which is called Sad But True. So let's have a look at the lipstick first. Oh yes, so this was a big draw for me. This lipstick, um, the Ursula lipstick, is a matte, and I haven't tried a matte lipstick before. And it's like a really dark, sort of plummy. Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm excited to see how this is gonna look. And again, it's in this really cool, like villains icons, beautiful. So cool. Your ultra glossy lip, sad but true is another kind of pearly color. Hmm. Oh, and it's got like more bluey undertones than the other one. Can you see it? And then here is your super shock highlighter. Again, with the really cool Ursula on the front. And you know, waves on the back. And the cool, and there, look at that. This is like a purpley highlighter. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I kind of like purple and I kind of like blue. So I'm pretty excited to check out how a purple highlighter looks. Yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, poor unfortunate souls. Cool, huh? And so with the Ursula collection, like I did with the Maleficent, they also had a jelly much eyeshadow that you could get with this that I think was like a blue or a green or a teal. But it was a bit too much for me and I've had teal eyeshadows before and just haven't used them very much. So I didn't get that one. So instead I got the Evil Queen Jelly Much eyeshadow and, oh, and Perfectly Wretched. So this is the Cruella de Vil Jelly Much shadow. So your Evil Queen Jelly Much Shadow is called Cursed. And I think this was a gold. So if you remember Evil Queen, I have an Evil Queen up here. So this is your kind of color palette for the Evil Queen. Purple and gold and red. So this is gonna be giving me this kind of color, I think. So there's the inside, it's got like a, I read that it's really important to keep these airtight because of the the um, like type of makeup that they are. So that's why they've got this extra, and it is gold. Look at that! 
Now I was didn't actually buy this for me. I bought this one for my mum. Hi mum. Um, my mum is a belly dancer and she loves shiny things. So I thought she might like some gold dripping in gold eyeshadow. Or we can share. So that was that one. Cursed. And the last one is perfectly wretched. Which I think is a white. Understandably so, the Cruella de Vil collection was really about your black, red and white. And so this... Oh, it's more pinky than I was expecting. So it's like a... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> so I'll open up the thing. Oh, it's like a sticky... It's not white. It's like pearly. That's pretty. So as you can see, the consistency is weird. I've never seen an eyeshadow like this before. So I'm excited to give it a go. And that is the end of the box. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mark from Wondervolt. He was watching a movie and enjoying himself and I thought, why not come and help me with my video? So he's kindly agreed to participate in my video and he doesn't know that we're about to do some swatches. Watches? Swatches. We're going to do some beauty blogging right now. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> now we're going out later, so I didn't want to take my face off. So we're going to use Mark's face and arm. I hope that's okay. So Mark, what I want you to do is to give me a fist in the air. And we're going to do some lipstick swatches. So the first one... On my arm. On your arm. No, oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to look at is the Ariel. So I said earlier that I bought this one because it's like a really nude lip. So this is Ariel. So the next one is Jasmine, which is your 90s bright bold pink. Well, they feel really smooth. Do they feel smooth, Mark? Sure. <laughs> so there is Jasmine. I'm coming closer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why did I agree to this? Because <laughs> you love me and it's my birthday. Mm. So this one is Maleficent. So it's also a hot pink, but sort of more bluey kind of pink. So I'm very excited about this one. So this is, maybe we could do it like this maybe. So here we go, Maleficent, which is very similar to the Jasmine, but a bit deeper. Ursula. How many have you got? <laughs> shh, shh, shh. I was, I was expecting two. <laughs> don't, Whoa. don't, shh, don't look. Just look out the window. <sighs> this is Ursula. Oh, that's pretty. So this is a matte. So, Mark, that means it's not shiny. Not so, a Matthew. So that's pretty. But super dark. These colours are really, really vibrant. Way brighter than I was expecting. So that's cool. And then we have three of these. So the top one is your Maleficent, Ursula, and Jasmine. So what I might do, if you can bring your arm back up, please, oh, Mark. I'm worried you're going to say <laughs> bring your face in. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll see what this... So in the light, this Jasmine has quite sort of goldy undertones. This is Raja. This is so much fun, like genuinely so much fun. Oh, that's really pretty. So this is more like a clear gloss, I suppose, as you would expect. 
with like a pearly pink. Yes, Can you see it? So move around. Pretty. And then, does it smell? Stinks. Does it? Stinks yeah. of what? Oh, it's like coconut? Yeah, I'm not sure. Vanilla? Hmm. It doesn't stink. It smells nice. It's scented. Yeah. <laughs> and then, okay, now we've got to change sides because I need the other arm. Bing! The magic of film. Right, so now we're going to look at eyeshadow. So I've got my new brush. Is this what I do? Yes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then we've got two highlighters. So this is your whole new world, is your Jasmine eyeshadow. I'm not even going to ask how much all this stuff cost. Uh, I'm probably going to find out if I watch this video, aren't I? Don't watch the video. Mm. <laughs> So this is Jasmine. Can you put your arm flat for me? There must be a trick to this that I don't know. Oh, it's really, really sparkly. Oh, it's got like purple and blue, like glitter tones. That's pretty. But as you can see, I'm having to dab a lot. So it's quite light. It looks like it's pretty buildable. Can you see it? There. I personally love a purple eyeshadow. I'm wearing purple eyeshadow right now. I own many, many purple eyeshadows. And now I have one more. Mm. In fact, now I have two more because mm -hmm. Spindle is also purple. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to try this what is that? sticky stuff. <laughs> It looks like some sort of alien goo, but it's eyeshadow. Don't put your fingers in it. I'm not gonna put my fingers in it. All right, so let's have a look. So we've got this and now we're gonna, as you can see, it's got like a really cool pearly color. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, at first glance, it looks like a horrible texture. It's like a, a goo. I guess that's why they call it jelly much. And then bring your please bring your arm up, little volunteer. And then it's like oh yeah. It's got a kind of again it's like really glittery. But it's got more like a grey undertone that I wasn't expecting. I didn't expect to be doing this today. <laughs> You're welcome. Can you show the people at home? Move your arm around. So there, see that? See how the light grabs that? That's really shiny. But I'll have to obviously try that on my eye because is that what I like? I don't use cream foundation, for example, because I find that it can. And Mark's obviously fascinated by this, but it can like crease. So I'm a bit nervous that this might crease, so I will try it out and I will let you know. Have you tried this before? Let me know in the comments. How are you meant to put it on? But it's beautiful. Next one. Where is the... Next we will do the high ho which is <laughs> like a dwarf, hmm. not like a... High ho high ho That's it. It's off to makeup we go. <laughs> so it's like a really pearly, bright, bright white. So, let's see, can you see that? Obviously you're not going to see much of a white shadow from there. Oh, it's so pearly! I don't know if this is the right brush for this kind of eyeshadow. I imagine the reason they called it Hi Ho is because in the dwarf mines, it sparkles. Yes! Nice thinking, Mark. So this is really, really subtle. Similar to the Jasmine one, it's like your standard sort of powder eyeshadow. Um, it looks like you could build it up, but I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that at all. But what you can see from here is a lovely sparkly effect. <laughs> right, this is Perfectly Wretched, which was the color that I thought was gonna be super, super white, 
but looks like it's kind of like a blush. Blush means pink. <laughs> it's another goopy one. Look at that. It's so weird. It's almost like Play-Doh. It's not even Play-Doh. It looks gross. Like glue. <laughs> but the color pearliness of it, there's no smell. Oh, no, there's Just no chemically. smell. Just like a makeup smell. Chemically. Shush you. Arm up, please volunteer. Right, so it's, oh, it's an even different, even more different color. I wasn't expecting that at all. So can you see that? So from here. It's almost like a bronze. Yeah, it's got like a white, like the flex in it a white, but it's, let's look at that. I mean, the sheen on it is really, really pretty. Um, and you're getting white, but the sort of undertone, as you can see, when you turn it, it's like a peachy bronze underneath. Mm, pretty. All right. The last eyeshadow is Cursed. It's not actually Cursed. It's, its name is Cursed. Okay, so this is your gold. I'm really going to have to have a shower after this. Yes. I'm covered in glitter. <laughs> even even areas that aren't makeup is covered in glitter. How yeah. is that possible? Right. Lift up. So this is your gold. Can you see that? Wow. So this is a really, really, really gold gold. Look at that. Swirl yourself. Look, look at the sheen on that. Wow. Okay, so the last two things we have are the Vesela and the Maleficent highlighter. Now, we have run out of arm, so I think we're going to have to do this on your face. What? No, 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 no. It's, no, it's no. for the channel. <laughs> Just relax, it'll be over in a minute. So the first one we're going to look at with my new brush... Relax, no one will see this, it's just me. <laughs> oh, good. So the first one we've got is the Maleficent, which is called Mistress of All Evil. So Marker Highlighter is a shiny product. That you owe me so much for this. It's my birthday. Yeah, this is a, I've already bought you a present. <laughs> Shh, smart for the cameras. <laughs> so this is like a I don't even know what color you call this so as you can see it's very sheer you're not getting a lot of color there but turn your head sort of like this does it hit the light Why? <laughs> isn't this fun I'm gonna get so much <laughs> It's going to be great. It's for the channel. Can we see it yet? You might not be able to see it, but from here it's given a lovely, subtle, bronzy, sort of glittery feeling. But you know the problem? He doesn't have any primer on. We'll do that next time. <laughs> so the last one, I promise we're nearly finished. The last one is the Ursula highlighter, which is called Poor Unfortunate Souls. So this is a more purpley one. So this is what the one I thought um, is probably going to be the best for me. All right, so here we go, purple. The makeup just doesn't want to stick to your skin, Mark. I don't know why. Oh. So a problem, obviously, I've just seen is that it's starting to crack. And there we go. Can you tilt your head? Can you see it? Let me see. <laughs> Do the blue steel. Beautiful. All right. 
So I'm going to be honest, you can't really see the highlighters, but I think that's kind of the idea with a highlighter. You don't want it to be like a permanent marker down the side of your face. But from here, he does have a nice sort of shimmer. So I will try these out on my face with the primer and I will let you know in the comments down below how we go. But that's it. Thumbs up. That is the ColourPop Disney Villains Collection. You've got Maleficent, Ursula, Belle, Jasmine. You've got a drop of Evil Queen and Cruella de Vil. And I've never had more fun in my whole entire life. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us, Mark. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the makeup. I am not a beauty blogger and I have never done this before, but I hope you enjoyed it. And we probably won't be doing it again, <laughs> looking at this face. But I enjoyed it and that's what matters. So please, if you enjoyed our content, hit the like and the subscribe button. Hit the bell and it'll tell you when we put new videos up. And until next time, we will be here on Wonderful. See ya! Bye! <laughs> Thank you, Mark. You look beautiful.